it's a long overdue go update guys uh, in here uh, Toon's been a very naughty girl so uh, she's been in the naughty room but that's not true although she has been very naughty this isn't the naughty goat room what room is it called any the vet got room. Medicine, got the kid. It's like all creatures great and small in here. Look at all this lot. And this isn't all of them. What have we got? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There's another three out. Uh, one is out with his mum. He's called Batman. He's out on the main pasture. He's a big lad. Flies around all over the place. Mr. Solo. We've got Mr. Solo. And uh, in here we've got Lightning. This little girl in the corner, she's been named by one of our dear friends as Lily. Uh, who else we got? We got Jungle there. We got a story about him this morning. He nearly wasn't with us. And we got Geraldine's child there. And we got Pollock's kid here. And we've got Owenetta's little bundle of joy. We've had to give her a nickname. Uh, so she's been nicknamed Nib Nub. Um, but we're, we're looking for a sponsor for her. Right, let's get in here. She's born earlier. Right, I was going to get comfy and sit down in my chair, but it looks like I've missed out. Thanks, Solo. Solo. Right, so this guy is Jungle, and his mum is Donna, one of our older girls in the herd. And um, hang on a minute, he's eating me bloody. So, um, started off very, very well, and the first day he was running around like a lunatic. Uh, drinking milk and playing, all good stuff. Then what happened is, slightly jumping onto Nib Nub, um, her mum, as you know, is Owenetta. She's given birth to her Lining prematurely. Naughty boy. Owenetta has given birth to her kid a little bit early and she got zero milk. So we had to pop her. Not a little bit. Thanks, early. Lightning. Really early. Yeah. We had to pop her. Onto Jungle's mum, because they're both born on the same day, and she had plenty of milk. Unfortunately, the very next day, she uh, she picked up a very bad booby infection on one one of her udders. So we had to take Nib Nub off her. But the story doesn't end there. That next day, that little girl's mum there, Geraldine, gave birth to her, and Geraldine's one of our oldest girls we got. And um, fortunately, she only had one, not twins this time, and she had enough milk for Nib Nub. So uh, she had a few days um, on Auntie Geraldine's booby. So Geraldine has absolutely saved the day, um, and she's now on cow milk. We have got milk replacement, but uh, lightning, mate. Mate, I'm not a climbing frame, am I? Well, obviously I am. So, me and Lightning are, are like that. Um, yeah, we have got a milk replacement, but it seems to upset their stomachs. So, we're now in the process of just um, not totally switching over, but we'll be mixing the cow milk, the whole cow milk, with uh, the milk replacement. So, going back onto Jungle, he's been brilliant, and he's been like a shadow. He, he, you can't go anywhere without him. Uh, but this morning, as we got, I got up quite early, got the kettle on, and uh, we heard a scream from over here on the island. Sorry, the camera's jumping around. Not very helpful, mate. You? Oh, get off my nipple. <laughs> uh, so I legged it out, and uh, there he was, uh, cuddled up in the corner of, a, of the birth room, not near his mum, and he was, uh, it was like an ice pole. And we nearly lost him. So, Nurse Toon, what did you do? Put him near the fire. You cooked him, didn't you? <laughs> Medium rare. How long did it take? A couple of minutes. Not a couple of minutes to put him on the fire. <laughs> How long did it take for him to, to oh, defrost? Ages, ages to, for him to get warm. After about an hour and a half, uh, we got him to take some warm milk. And uh, he's been fine ever since. He's getting back to his old self, but he's still a little bit tired. Uh, yeah, we nearly, nearly lost him. So we're going to go and get some more rice straw today and make a thicker bed of that. 
they should be okay. Last night was colder than usual and there was a bit of wind and we think it's just coming from the side and he got a little bit far away from his mum. Now his mum Donna, um, she is eating well now but uh, her booby, it's, uh, it's in a right old state. Thank goodness one's still okay and he can still drink his milk but we are supplementing his feed. But uh, yeah, it looks like um, Jungle will be Donna's last kid because she's the mother of Coffee who's a very very good goat but we nearly lost Donna on the first pregnancy and uh, this is the second one on the bounce where she struggled so because she's getting on in her years we're going to try and build her back up um, but we won't put her through pregnancy anymore Lightning, settle down mate, he's calling his mum okay little Lily she's a lovely little girl Right, I think we'll let these two out because they're calling them mum. They've been introduced. So Lily, our friend kindly named her for us. And uh, I think she's going to do you proud, mate. She's a lovely little girl. So on to this chap, Solo. He's the son of BB, a.k.a. Bunny Boiler. Uh, she's the girl that we got who... Um, she'd already had her horns cut off because she liked to fight a lot, but pans out that she's uh, she's a really nice natured go anyway. What? She Jeb. Now the reason we call him Solo is because originally he wasn't on his own. His mum gave birth to twins, one girl, one boy. But how big was his sister? Yeah, absolutely tight. I've never seen a goat that small uh, in my life. But she looks strong. Um, unfortunately, during the night, her mum ran out of milk and uh, she didn't make it. So we were good. She was a lovely little thing, but she didn't make it through the night. So uh, we've named him Solo and uh, he's a good lad. He's putting on the weight. Nice nature. He's a bit like Boston, so same mum as, as Boston had. And uh, yeah, is a is a nice addition to the herd. The big lass here is the daughter of Pollock, so she's one of the new goats we got. It was already pregnant, and she's the spitting image of her. And she is a strong old girl, growing incredibly quickly. Of course, if they're not given, if the mums aren't giving birth to twins, you generally get a bigger goat, and of course they get all the milk for themselves. Uh, uh, yeah, she's. Uh, She's an absolute diamond. If you'd like to sponsor this girl, uh, the details of Toon's PayPal is down below in the description. I'll also pin it into the top comment. And it's purely on a donation basis. It's up to you. Just pop down on an email uh, what name you'd like given to her. We'll take a nice photograph of her. We'll stick it on a, a certificate for you and we'll email it over in a PDF format. If more than one of you um, select the same goat for a name, uh, we will purely do it on the first uh, first email received, guys, uh, and then the second second one up will get the next the next girl goat. All right, so that's that's Pollock's girl done. Uh, I think we'll go for Geraldine's. Now she's a lovely, timid. I'm going to say little girl, but she's a good size as well. So Geraldine was the mum of Tangmo and Ruby, uh, but this one, wow, she is, as well as being stunning, uh, she's incredibly strong. Really, really good goat, and uh, quite independent. So low, <laughs> Toon and I have been absolutely shocked how well Geraldine has coped. Uh, the first pregnancy uh, that we witnessed, she really struggled with the births. This time around, it was an absolute breeze. And she's bounced back, I mean, in a week or so, she's absolutely healthier than she's ever been since her time with us. So uh, we're absolutely chuffed. So if you'd like to give a name to Geraldine's little girl, again, just let us know via email and uh, we'll sort you out a lovely certificate and photo. On to our little prized asset, temporarily named Nib Nub. 
she, she's never full. Now Nibnub hasn't had any milk off her mum Owenetta. It looks like she's been uh, born early by about a week or two, maybe a little, maybe a little bit more. Uh, she is tiny. She's strong, uh, but that's that's down to. Um, Donna and, and Geraldine stepping up to the plate. I mean, it was Toon's idea to to try and put them on the booby, and uh, they, uh, they they were a bit unsure about it to start with, uh, but they both did their bit. So she owes them one big time. It's a little bit of a concern for us because obviously Owenetta is very very dear to us, um, so a lot will hinge on her future, on her next pregnancy. Hopefully. Um, she'll give birth when she's supposed to and she'll have plenty of milk and she'll be just as attentive with her. So we've got high hopes for her, mainly because she likes eating ears, so she should she should grow quite quickly. <laughs> He's too tired today to fight her off, she's having a right old nosh on there. Again, let us know if you'd like to, to, to give her a name. Uh, she's, a, she's a lovely little dot and uh, absolutely 100% brown, beautiful little thing. All right, mate. Bullseye, kid. Yeah, definitely the daughter of Bullseye. Now we have got two more kids, uh, and they're the kids of Doris out there. Uh, but we nicknamed her the, the Vampire Goat because she does like to bite. Uh, I haven't managed to kidnap her kids yet, so um, we, she's got one of each as well. So how many how many sets of twins do we have? Three or four. Dora's baby, Mama. That's it. Yeah. So three sets of twins, but unfortunately, um, Bibi's little girl didn't make it. So, in total, we got ten new kids uh, in the last last couple of weeks. Uh, originally, it was eleven, uh, and it and it was almost nine this morning. If we hadn't got out quick enough to to save. <laughs> Save that lad there, jungle. Make sure you watch to the end, guys, because we managed to get hold of Doris's little kid, so the, the, the daughter of the vampire goat, um, because we need a name for her as well. Where we're sat presently is uh, in one of four new birthing rooms. We have got lots of birthing rooms up there in the main, the main house. We've got nine in there in total, uh, but that's after the girls are given birth. We don't really like them giving birth in there. In the evening, we pop them in there with their kids and it seems to be to, to be working very well. They support to be good for bird loom when mm. they give birth we can yeah. help them. So Big enough, comfy enough. So the difference with these rooms is uh, when the girls are going into labour we can pop them into here, shut the door, we can keep an eye on them. It's incredibly cool with it being block work and a concrete floor and then after they've given birth if there's no room in the uh, goat hotel up there uh, then we're going to have like a little raised bed area in here for them. So these four rooms can then double up as little nursery rooms. Can be our room as well. Yeah, and our room. If uh, we've got one vacant and we're expecting uh, an evening berth, then uh, we'll be camping out here. So uh, they're, they're just big enough to put a little mosquito tent in here and we can put a mattress in there and, and get some shut eye. Got lots of updates coming for you for what's been developing on Go Island, a bit of an evolution at the moment. So uh, the, the lads are at present, they're just building us a little solar room shack. So relocating our secondary small solar system, that's gonna be out here permanently. And, uh, and then we can run the lights and fans off that out here. Uh, so it's gonna make it a lot more comfortable. We spend half our life out here anyway, so we might as well have the solar system here. We've still got the big solar system back at the house. What other updates have we got coming up then soon? We're going to update about the pen all around the property for the gold. It's bullion. And the fuck nails as well. With someone breaking it out, stayed away. Yeah, so we just got a boundary made. <laughs> but we're not, we're not going to walk around and show today because it's quite windy today. Yeah, and we got goats out. We've got the big herd out in the jungle, so um, it's just not possible at the moment. But yeah, we're going to have a total walk around the... Uh, the boundary of the property and uh, show you the damage that has been caused. Toon is on the case. She knows who's done it. They've admitted that they've done it. 
um, but they're a little bit slow coming forward to sort things out so uh, more about that in the future they're quite busy for now anyway cut right every day well i'm busy yeah. you're busy yeah what's that what's their excuse then? it's all right i'm not busy to go see them as a whole yeah you're gonna go and pay a visit and chit chat do you mind not eating my camera nib nub hmm? can't keep her name yet it's a nickname, isn't it? Need a sponsor for it. <laughs> I bet you're so, going to get beautiful name for it. <laughs> Bye. It's all you helping. Everything go really well done. Thank you so much for all patient PayPal. Order building and fan and and the name <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what to say I really wish everyone stay safe from the COVID and come back visit it again as karaoke time coming soon. Our builders, our builders just broke into song. He say he he gonna karaoke today. Is he? He gonna karaoke today. Oh, I thought he was in a good mood. He must have got his leg over last night. Keep going, keep going. <laughs> we we find quite good person for. Our building not piss off. I'm not piss off. Chill enough, and it's all you guys help. Really, really thank you. And I tell you what, if anyone want me to make video and boring to see Lee, just want to see me. Just, just give me some uh, story. What you want me to talk? I think that easy for me. I don't think anyone's boring listening to me, are they? I don't know. Maybe. <laughs> they cold. They need to get out and get the sun. For me, that is really, really thank you and wish everyone stay safe. It is, this in couple of week, couple of days, Lee B is a mama. He's a baby girl sitting. I've got is no it, milk, though. Is it, is it right? Maybe go see him. I think so. Thanks for being part of of all this. It's uh, special. It really is. It's a thunder. So we've got lightning. We've also got this fella called Thunder. He's a lovely lad, a bundle of fun. And then this girl. She's got a bit of a double chin. I have to cut down on your milk, girl. So we haven't got a name for her. Uh, I, I had to give her a bit of a nickname to start with. When she was first born, she had like a tick on her nose, so I nicknamed her Nike. But that's a terrible name for a lovely girl goat. So, um, yeah, let us know if you'd uh, like to give Nike a, a, a proper name. All right, that's it for now. Ta-da! Bye-bye! Ah! Ah! Okay.